right, y'all, we back. And on this one, we're going to talk about what is failure and what does it look like. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. What is failure? What does failure mean to you? Failure is the thing that everybody is afraid of. Oh my God, I'm going to fail and it's going to be end of the world. In reality, what people are afraid of is the meaning that people and society have given to the word failure. Right, because I was thinking about this in my own personal mind when I start thinking about how based on my current goals, ambitions and expectations of myself, I failed, right? But when people start feeling like they failed, they start feeling like a failure. And I think those are two distinct different things. I think when you have failed, it means you attempted. It means you tried. It means that you made some sort of effort and you came up short, right? So for me personally, it was financial. But for a lot of people, it might be financial, physical, mental. You may have failed at losing your goal weight. You might have decided that you want to lose 100 pounds. If you lost 80, you have failed at what you originally decided that you were going to do. But the question is, if you lost, you decided you wanted to lose weight and on making the decision that you wanted to lose weight, you did something about it. A lot of people want to lose weight and don't do a damn thing. They sit there and they continue wanting for the rest of their natural life. You decided that you wanted to do something and you actually did it. Did you hit the goal? No, but does that make you a failure because you failed to hit the target that you created? That's something that makes me think. When we create the targets, what are we basing it on? When you said you wanted to lose 100 pounds, when I said I wanted to be making a certain amount of money and I want to do a certain thing and I want to live a certain life, where did these ideas come from? And a lot of those things inside of you that you bring and you manifest that creates your targets, those are your, they stem from what you desire, right? But they're motivated oftentimes by your deep rooted insecurities. Like for me, the money thing came from, again, Kenny versus poverty, right? Growing up and going through poverty and living only through the lens of poverty and the only way out and the only time I ever seen anybody escape was through illegal means. So trying to go through the ranks of trying to earn a living and get enough money to take care of my family and do the things in life that I enjoy all stemmed from the deeply rooted insecurity that there's not enough money in the world. When in reality, from the age of 25 to my current age, I realize there's more than enough. The problem is there's not enough creativity in the world. There's not enough people willing to try and willing to fail so they can create something new, so they can add value to the world, so they can reap the rewards whatever they be for you that you have in your mind. Most people aren't willing to try because most people decide that when you fail, that makes you a failure. One likes to fail, but the truth is whether we like to fail or not, failing is an important part of life. We've all failed at something. There's nobody that succeeded at anything that hasn't failed. Nobody ever. You could, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. Shit, Jesus came back. Right? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what your religion is, but Jesus came back. Jesus, God brought Jesus. He brought him here. He said, listen, you going to save the people? He failed. They crucified, dog. He had to come back and be like, see, look, I told y'all I was Jesus. Man, what's wrong with you niggas? But so when I think about that, I'm like, the title of failure and that feeling that you feel inside prevents you from actually doing anything. But what is the alternative? Right? I can feel like, man, I've worked all these jobs, right? And I've tried all of this stuff. Shit, with this, with this YouTube channel, I've came on, decided, okay, look, I want to be a vlogger because vloggers is getting the money, man. DDG and CJ So Cool, them boys are going crazy on But don't nobody know you, fella, fella. Don't nobody know you. Don't nobody care about your life. The difference is they built up an audience and then they was vlogging. They, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had no clue that that you had to do the carrot came before the you know what i'm saying so i tried to be a vlogger boy that failed I, I did the shoot you know what i'm saying started the shoe business boy that failed and it would be easy to be like man i give up i'm but then i think about it what's the alternative what's the alternative what am i gonna 
What's the alternative? I already worked all the jobs, right? I've, I've, I've worked as a retail associate or a sales associate for any job that you've ever thought about. And it didn't get me what I want because even though I could get to the money, I lose my time freedom. I lose the the ability to spend times and leave my children as a father, right? So then what what goal, what game am I playing? Am I prioritizing the money over my family? So you gotta choose. Because for me, this right here, what I'm doing, either I'm going to create financial freedom on camera, or I'm gonna die trying. And y'all gonna see 7,000 videos in me documenting the journey. And if I was able to help 10 people, I did my job. If I was able to help 30 people, I did my job. If I was able to change their lives, motivate and encourage 50 people outside of my family that you don't gotta stop, that you don't gotta give up, I did my job. So it makes me think like, did you fail right because they don't give you any awards for trying there's only the word failure and then success is like this ill be got like so if you're success you you say okay you want some money you hundred thousand dollars a year right you get a hundred thousand dollars are you successful because the the goal then moves right you got to then do something with the hundred thousand you got to become the person that can manifest more than a hundred thousand to keep the hundred thousand otherwise you're going to spend it Right? You want to get in better shape? You got to become the person that gets in better shape. Otherwise, anybody can go on a diet, lose 100 pounds, gain back 200 pounds, you still a juicy motherfucker. So then what's the move? What's the goal? What did you do it for? So that's just my perspective and my feelings because I was feeling like, bro, you ain't, you didn't do enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you ain't do enough. You ain't, you didn't turn up enough. You didn't try hard enough. You didn't give it enough effort. And in me feeling like that, I'm sure that there's other people that might feel that way too. And that feeling discourages them, right? But still, I still got the fire. I still got the fire. I still deep down inside feel like I'm one play away from where I'm going. I'm around the corner. I can feel I'm around the corner. And if you going through it, you feeling like you failed, you down on your luck, shit ain't going your way, life is giving you adversity after adversity after adversity, you around the motherfucking corner too. And with that being said, we gonna keep working, we gonna keep hustling, and y'all gonna keep seeing videos. Kenny Ver